Okay, the next part we're going to do is this spacer that's shown shown right here. Um, the let's see, let's, we're going to look at the, the base of this. So the base part of it is a diameter of 2.5. That is one inch thick. The top of it is a diameter of 1.5. That is 0.75 thick. And then there's a hole that goes all the way through it. That's one inch. Uh, a one inch diameter. All right, so the rest of that stuff we're not even going to worry about. So we've only got a 2.5 diameter to worry about, a 1.5 diameter, and a one inch diameter, and the whole thing's 1.75 tall. Okay, so let's go to AutoCAD. Go ahead and click on New. Um, you should still be using that ACAD file that we had there. We'll just go ahead and leave it in this plane. Um, go ahead and click a circle center diameter and pick a spot somewhere right about here and we will make that 2.5 go ahead and extrude that right there we're going to go up uh, that one was if i remember correctly i'm not even going to try was one inch thick so we'll go up one and then we're going to make a new circle with that we're going to use the o snap setting of this center so i'm going to click right there i'm not i don't have to go to the middle there click right here and it's going to automatically snap to that and that diameter was 1.5 and we'll extrude that one 0.75 up and then we will union those two things together all right then it was a one inch diameter through the center of it so i'll click uh, a circle and we're going to click the center point of that the diameter is one we will extrude that so it goes down all the way through that part. Click subtract and select what I want to keep, then enter, and then select that part right there, and it's, that's it. So we got the whole thing done. So if we change this then to 2D shading, we can see that's what the whole part looks like. That's exactly what we want. So we will click save. Um, we're going to save this as 207, 207-6-41, and it is a spacer. All right, um, and then click Save from there. All right, uh, dub I already double-clicked the mouse wheel, so we'll go ahead and print that. Going to change this to DWG to PDF. Change this to Extents. Center the plot. Click Preview, and that's exactly what we should submit that or the wireframe. So click Plot, and that should be perfect for right there. All right, so you're going to submit the PDF file right there. We're done.